Happy Australia Day! Woo woo! So today's Australia's National Day, January 26th. Um, and it's, uh, it's an interesting day for me today, given what I've been going through, probably the wrong term, but given what God's been revealed, revealing to me over the last, uh, particularly the last six to eight weeks, uh, today brings on extra significance for me. So just a bit of a snapshot of Australia in the modern day. Um, so Australia is what they call a multicultural society. So basically, um, we've had a we had a, a thing called the White Australia policy here up until like the mid 1960s, uh, and then after that, it, it's been a um, it might have been before that because I know I know the like the Lebanese and all of those Middle Eastern races they and the Italians they started coming out I think earlier than that. So I'm not quite sure how all that works, but. But um, mass immigration of basically all all races started um, in, in Australia probably let's say 50, 60 years ago. Uh, but in any case, so today you've got you, you've, you've truly got what's called a multinational, uh, multicultural society here in Australia. It's made up of, of many, many different races. You've got white people, Aboriginals. Um, there's Muslims. There's there's Asian people. There's black people. There's there's just it, it's just it's just every race. There appears to be a, a lack of like Europeans, like Dutch people and. Um, people from Eastern, Eastern, Western Europe that, that doesn't seem to be probably some from Eastern, but not, not Ru Russians or anything like that. It just seems to be mainly people that look different to, to white people. Um, are this multicultural society in Australia today. Now, Australia Day, it's a day where everybody gets out and, and the, the, the traditional thing to do, the stereotype thing to do. And I used to do it all the time. I've had some, I'm have some, I've had some enormous Australia days back in the days when I was a sitter. Oh, look at some of those days you'd start early, you'd crack the beer, you'd just have a barbecue going all day with all your mates, um, you'd go through a whole heap of ice and just just a, a big day, a big, big day just to get pissed and, you know, and, and I suppose at some point go, yeah, we were Australian, yay, but it was just, you know, just another excuse to get pissed. Um, it leads me on to quite a few topics I wanted to, well, not a quite a few, but one or two topics that I, I wanted to really talk about today. Um, so I, I noticed the Eureka flag. Um, this is going to get biblical, by the way. This 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 post. It's all about the Bible. But just want to give a bit of a backdrop as well. Um, the, the Eureka flag. I noticed that's that's waving at a lot of places as well today. So I've had a bit of a look into it because I don't really know a lot about the Eureka stockade and stuff. But it appears to be some sort of event that that happened in the 1800s. Now, bear in mind, I'm going by the by the mainstream media, Wikipedia and all that, which which you always have to take with a grain of salt. Sometimes it's true, sometimes it's not. And I'm going to get to a, a case where it could well be true, where the Twains meet in, in just a sec. Um, but the Eureka Stockade appears to be something where the miners in Victoria overcome the the military of the land to, to get their workers' rights. And you just go, really? Like, the workers overcome the military to get workers' rights? Seriously, I mean, get a brain, people. It's 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 obvious that it's just a hoax, and it's just something there to just to make people work more because that's the purpose of life in this satanic world is we all have to be born, go to school, get brainwashed, um, get the, an unquenchable thirst, appetite, hunger for for the elusive money, go to work just to get money to buy things, to buy a house for your retirement, have kids, repeat cycle, die. So that's basically what it is, and that's obviously what this Eureka thing is, and people just fall for a hook, line, and sinker. Workers' rights, yeah. In any case, the Aboriginals. The Aboriginals today are very, very interesting. So I don't know if I've mentioned it before, but I'm I'm Aboriginal. My dad was. He he remembers back in back in his childhood. He grew up in Wellington, New South Wales. He remembers his childhood where. Uh, he had a tough childhood, Dad, but he remembers in his early years where all of his family, all of his relatives were basically black. A lot of them there were. He, he remembers his grandmother being a full, full, uh, full caste Aboriginal. So I've got Aboriginal coursing through my veins. 
Um, and it's something that I, I've always sort of identified with. I don't run around telling people and all that because I'm not defined. I've, ne I've never been wanted to be defined by anything. I've always said that I've been made up by many different aspects of my life, my personality, and now I'm definitely defined by being in the body of Christ. So it's, it's funny how I left that open all those years and I'm now very, very much defined. But an Aboriginal I am, um, and it's, it's interesting. I, I, I look back at Dad, and, and Dad, when I was about 20, 21, he was was absolutely he just got it into his mind that we've got to be legally legally seen as aboriginal and he he would just stop at nothing to do it you know and and it's 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 we went into the local land council the darkest young land council back about 20 about 20 years ago um and we became we became members of the local aboriginal land council here so um, Aboriginals here are basically, they're treated, it's interesting, they're treated a couple of different ways. So the reality is, is that they are treated as second class citizens. Um, they're made to, by society, they're made to feel like they don't belong. Um, they're made to feel like they're, they're, um, they're good for nothing. And the Aboriginals, the, what, what, what I can see really play along with it. Um, they, they've got a real victim mentality here. They, 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 they keep coming back to the, to the first fleet and and the and the um, the over what do you say the, the the invasion of their land um, and they keep coming back to it and they can't get over it you know and I've always I've always sort of had a foot in both camps with this one because I've always said you know it happened 200 250 years ago you know you, you, you're here in this life now and you've you really in order to live your life you've got to move on um, but and then you look at it from their point of view, you know, they're 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 very big on their heritage. They're very, and when I say they, I, I I am one, but I don't. As I say, I don't I don't I, 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 I don't identify myself. I don't I don't um, put myself into one category. I don't sort of do that. I'm made up by a lot of different things. So when I say they, I do mean we. But I I I just I, I hope you you vibe them sort of how how, how I'm saying. Um, so the Aboriginals, they've, they've always, they've, 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 they've always been, um, they, they play, they, they play into it. They play into it. And I, and I find Aboriginals just in general really underachieve in this country. They don't do a lot. Um, and they're, they're basically, I, I don't know, they just fall for it. Um, and then you've got the media. The media really uses Aboriginals here to push their social progression agendas. Um, it's all about the one. It's all about love. It's all about unity. But in fact, nothing happens here. I know Kevin Rudd got up in 2007 as Prime Minister and just made this sweeping statement to the to the stolen generation. There's a policy here back up until the 60s where, where kids, Aboriginal kids, would be taken off their parents and put into good white families. Um, so there's there's a lot going on here in, in 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 the history of Australia, but but the Aboriginals really they don't they don't achieve they don't really do too much, and they're really they they've got an attachment to their land a so-called attachment to their land and their heritage. Now, d during the great reveal of the Bible and and of the and of God and of history and of the Old Testament and the twelve tribes of me recently. Now remember, I, I, I've it's I've said in previous videos that that where I am now is is that it, I I come to Christ via truth. So I, I started with the moon landing, went on to nine eleven, flat Earth, all that sort of stuff, and it's just it's the, what what Christ to me was the missing link. I was I was in a very bad place about twelve months ago. I had nowhere to go. I was on this evil Earth, and you see truthers like it now. They get there and they're just like they they just lament where they are, the situation they're in, because they know truth, but they don't know truth because they don't know Christ. That's sort of where I was. Um, so um, in these in these days of of sort of the great reveal, well, what brought me here was truth. What brought me here was was truth, and and that appetite for truth doesn't stop. It's it's an unquenchable appetite. So I, I will be still read down, led down rabbit holes to this day because that's my, that's my nature. That's my, that's who I am. And fortunately these days, most of the rabbit holes I'm going down are about learning the Bible or learning about the Bible and how that manifests in, in the current day. That's something that I'm really, really interested in. So I, I've been learning about the 12 tribes of Israel and, and, and what, what I, I said in my Christmas day video, the one I was out at the park, um, there, there, there's, there's, who are the 12 tribes today? And it's, and it's, 
uh, all my research that I've been doing the last week or so, it, it's clear that they're, they're native Indians, the Haitians, the Cubans, the Asians, the uh, basically mostly black people. What I can see, there might be uh, might be a tribe in Russia. I'm not sure, but most of them are black people, and the complete opposite of what you're being sold today. So the current day Jew apparently are these mob in Israel, and they're not. It would appear that they go back to to Esau. Um, Jacob's Jacob's evil twin. Uh, it'll appear they they go back to him maybe, but it, 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 there's there's figures in the Bible there where where the 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 current day Israelites. No, no, they're, 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 they're Gentiles. So again, we've been sold a story. If you want truth in this world, you just go to the complete opposite to what the what the official narrative is, and and then generally you'll you'll get to truth. If you if you're not reading the Bible, or if you do read the Bible, you've got that there as well. So who are the twelve tribes? Where am I going? The tribe of Reuben. So the tribe of Reuben is clearly Aboriginal people. It's the Aboriginal race. Um, the it's also there's a section in India. There's a native. There's a native um, thread in India. There. They're also the tribe of Reuben. So the the the, the, the Aboriginals today, they they've got an attachment to Australia. They've got an attachment to their history. And I've been having a look at their at their traditional writings and all that, and it's just full of serpents. It's full of rainbows. It's full of all these. Uh, earthly animals that are sort of glorified. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking the Aboriginals today are still the tribe of. Re they're absolutely the tribe of Reuben, um, and they're they're still worshiping false gods. And I I think I think um, primarily the the Aboriginals here today, the tribe of Reuben, they're living in absolute ignorance. They've got absolutely no idea who they are. They've got no idea of the truth. They don't know how they got to Australia. They just claim Australia is their land. And to me, I can't think any, anything that could be further from the truth. Australia is definitely their land before white people. Absolutely. Absolutely. But the Aboriginal's true land is Israel. So, um, and, and, and we're, 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 we're here today. And, but, but Australia is most definitely, most definitely the tribe of Reuben's land before it's the, it's the white man's land. So the white man come over there in, in, in 1788. That's when they settled here. Apparently that's the story. But I was alerted there the other day. Um, the slavery trade started in, in America in 1619. It's now 2019. So I thought to myself, let's go and have a look. Let's go and have a look at the, um, Australian history. And sure enough, it's, it's interesting when the official narrative matches up with, with what you're researching, what you're thinking, what the Bible says. And it does here. There was, there was a European influence here from 1609. Um, and there was an influence all the way up to 1788 where they were, they discovered the place, but they didn't settle. I mean, if they discovered the place, they must have seen it. So if they saw it, 